Yo, what's up everybody, it's Void Jared here, and 2010 Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, effectively the replacement for the Riders games, was received decently well when it came out, and sold pretty well too, selling 1.07 million copies, leading Sega to naturally make a sequel, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Transformed. And that's what we're here to talk about today. Let's talk about it, shall we? Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing released in 2012 for the PS3, Xbox 360, Wii U, and PS Vita, so there is a launch title for the Wii U when it came out. The game is very much similar to the original, however, with a ton of new characters like Vise, Jamusashi, and Knights. There's even third-party versions specific characters like the PC version allowing you to play as General Winter from Company of Heroes 2, or the Wii U version having Wreck-It fucking Ralph, which to me is insane because Wreck-It Ralph being this game is wild. <laughs> It also has a bunch of new stages, such as Seasonal Shrine from Shinobi, Dream Valley from Knights, and Carrier Zone from Afterburner Climax, just to name a few. The main gimmick for this game is the transformation aspect of it, as throughout the race, you'll pass through these blue loops known as transformation gates, and passing through them causes you to transform from a car to either a boat or a plane, depending on the section, and controlling them all feels very, very good, unlike you're actually controlling that specific, uh, vehicle. And... The, every stage in the game has like a combination of car and one of the other two, sometimes both, making for some very interesting stage designs, such as riding on the water of Ocean Palace and passing by a giant crab or flying over a broken bridge as the dragons of the Court of Dragons Canyon destroy the bridge in the third lap. It's really fucking cool. Characters in this game are unlocked by simply playing the game in World Tour mode, which has you do a variety of different challenges as you progress and earn your stars. Earn enough stars and you unlock your character this that's that's it that's it <laughs> this mode is also how you unlock the various race courses of the game and with how much there is to do it can keep you locked in for quite some time hell i never beat it myself until making this video and it took a little bit this game also has mods which allow you to affect a character's stats such as making them faster or handle better and much like the characters and courses simply playing the game will level up each character and unlock the mods for you so and it doesn't matter if you're doing single play races world tour or playing online which is nice you just gotta play the game and when i say mods i don't mean mods as in download them from the pc version or mod your mod your console or whatever no that's actually what they're called in the game they're stat modifiers there's also a variety of them so you can mix and match characters with the buffs so if a character is bad at handling or drifting you can fix that and while the game has a ton of content for you single players you can absolutely get your fill where this game really seems to shine at least for me is the multiplayer as i finally had the chance to play through this game with friends and man what a blast that was as a single player the game is simple fun but when playing with another person this game goes to the next fucking level dude and can become super competitive even if you're just playing casually and i think a good chunk of the reason why is the item roster as none of the items from the first game return instead of replacing them with new ones in some cases the replacements are basically the exact same like the boost item basically being the same as the speed shoes or the twister item working the same way the confused star did flipping your screen and controls other new items work entirely differently, such as the hot rod item which will boost your speed for 3 levels, however it will eventually explode if it's not on the height setting, which will cause you to lose momentum, or bee rush, which summons a swarm of bees in front of the race during first place to block their progress, as if you hit one of the bees, you'll spit out! All the new items in this game are really good additions, and only serve to make this game really fun to play with others, resulting in... Arguably to me one of Sonic's best racing games and most fun racing games and racing I go back to all the time. Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Transformed is a ton of fun in single or multiplayer. The added content and changes to the game that were made are super fun and make some really cool course design. Everything controls well and looks gorgeous even to this day. It's a really good looking game and generally speaking everything about this game is good. Even the music which yes I know is just songs from the mainline games from the different series but it's damn good music. Everything about this game is really good, smooth, fun, it feels nice, arguably it's better than its predecessor in every way, as the transformation stuff allows them to do more with this game and the way things are designed, and with the way everything comes together from the roster, to the items, to the visuals, etc. It all comes together in one big, beautiful package, resulting in this game being an absolute step up from the first in every way. Hey, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I was originally planning on making a video about Persona 5 Tactica this week, but with the release of Sonic Dream Team's intro, I figured now's a good time to cover the new Sonic game. People are looking up Sonic content, but hopefully I can get that video out for Tactica next week, but we will see. 
I have a lot of Sonic games to cover. So I'm hoping after Tactic, I can just speed run those Sonic games because I want to get them done either before the end of the year or before the 11th because Sonic Prime, uh, the new episodes of Sonic Prime are coming out then and I want to cover the shows next season. So hopefully I can finish this season and all the games I plan to cover this season, but we will see. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time now. If you enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't, you know how much I suck. It's about the YouTuber and the VTuber in the comment section down below. Peace out and enjoy yourself.